or Mr. Juan Elias Chevy, coordinator or world well, coordinator of We Want 2015, representing UN. Coming from Venezuela, you're welcome. Eres bienvenido siempre. Muchas gracias. Um, thank you. Salam alaikum. Bonjour. Um, wow, this is very humbling for me to be here. First, I would like to thank, uh, of course, His Majesty King Mohammed VI for having me here. Uh, I would like to thank uh, the National Human Rights Council for organizing this beautiful event. And of course, to the President and the wonderful team of ONDE, uh, the Obs National Observatory of Child Rights. Um, and you know, for sure, thank you, thank most, mostly you for for being here, and for standing up for for such amazing things, uh, including human rights. You know, uh, I I would like to say that for me, and I know, bear with me. I know it's been a long day. I know you've heard many many speeches, but being here, it's it's humbling for me because I remember. Uh, as a young man sitting in one of those chairs as well in Caracas, Venezuela, many, many years ago, I'm not, not so many, but some years ago, uh, and wondering, you know, what was the role of the United Nations and why was I there sharing uh, part of my school time? At the beginning, it seemed like a very nice thing to do, you know, share with other people of my age in this, some sort of fun and social activity. But I never really understood. And for me, being a part of the, uh, an organization like the United Nations was not in my agenda. But then years passed and I found my way into the United Nations Development Program and working for the United Nations Millennium Campaign so that the UN opens its doors and brings the voice of the people inside of the UN halls, inside of the UN assemblies. And that's the work that we're doing. And then I understood that we do need organizations like the UN. We, knew, we do need these neutral platforms, inclusive platforms that are forums just like this one, that allow people from all different countries, all different ideologies, and to come together under one common aspiration and dream, which is having a better world for all. And for that, I commend you. You're here for the same mission, for the same reason. And uh, it's truly humbling, you know. One thing that we have realized is that in order to become a better multilateral institution, a beacon for humanity, the UN has really to listen to the people. We have to really go back to we, the peoples of the United Nations. After all, the United Nations belongs to all of you. So you are the guardians. You have to keep us accountable. And these are the places where your voices can echo around the world. So again, thank you very much. Thank you for the work that you do. It is important. And thank you for having me. Bye-bye. <laughs>